all right now let's look at the drawer component from shards in ui and this is the quick demo if you click on that this is how it is going to look that looks amazing and very attractive and they have provided the code that you can just copy paste if you want to use it as it is but if you want to start from scratch and build things on it step by step then you would uh, choose the basic version of it so you just have to first install it then add the import statements from here and then add this uh, basic version of it once done you can uh, preview it and start modifying it other than that they have another example where they have specified the responsive dialog you can combine the dialog and drawer component to create a responsive dialog this renders a dialog component on desktop and drawer on the mobile yeah that's it that is also very nice user behavior that i saw in many websites so let's quickly look at it how it works so this is a dialog and this would appear like this in the desktop application but if you reduce the screen size you would notice that uh, it would convert into the drawer like this if you click on it it would open like a drawer amazing okay and also cancel button is also closing it so now let's quickly install it and use it by the way uh, here uh, there is some about text about it that drawer is built on top of wall by this person so if you open it so they used this library uh, drawer component for react and it is available on the github and they have provided the demo so they used this and they use the tailwind css to uh, customize it and to make it like the shared c and ui components anyways now let's quickly copy the code and start using it so open the project and open the terminal install it all right after it is installed you are ready to use if you are uh, installing it second time and you did not make any change and the there is no update in that component yet from the shared cn then you would see this message that uh, because uh, file is identical it was already there in your source code so it just skipped that file but if you made a change then it would uh, ask you to overwrite it so if you allow it then it would replace your changes uh, it would delete all of your changes and replace it with the new one so be very careful if you have uh, customized uh, this dark component you have made some changes then you should not uh, run this command as it is because it is going to replace your changes so you have to keep that in mind anyways once we have installed it let's quickly copy this piece of code go back to the page dot tsx and i am going to add it here also copy this code and let's replace it with that one okay so now let's go back to the browser i made a mistake i mistakenly imported the button from uh, a wrong library that's why it is causing that error so let's quickly add the correct import statement from component slash ui slash button save it now the mistake is that the drawer close was imported twice so that's why it is happening now reload it okay click on the open and we see this the simplest version of this drawer okay so if you click on outside of this drawer on this overlay it would be closed but if you click on the cancel it would still be closed let's quickly look at the code what uh, they have done to make that possible if we go to the drawer component that is in the components it is just uh, the usage of wall library and they have also used the tailwind css to design it you are free to make changes in it so for example if you want to make change if you want to change the color of the, this overlay behind it you can change it for example instead of black you can try blue something like that maybe or you can get it from these suggestions so for example i pick orange and let's see if that works yes you can see the overlay is orange and you can reduce the opacity like 100 and this is how it is going to look so in this way you can play with it and make any adjustment if you want to but most of the time you don't need to make any change because you want to stick with the uh, default theme of the shared scene ui but in case if you want to match it with your brand or something like that you can come here and feel free to make those adjustments now let's quickly uh, use other uh, examples that they have provided and we will look at it but before that this is the simplest version so if you want to start from a very basic version so that it is easy for you to maintain then this is the 
uh, code that you should use so first of all you need to use the drawer component within that you will have the drawer trigger and this is the open text so instead of the just plain text you can have a proper shared scene ui button so for example here i can add a button from shared scene ui open save it and now it should look like a button you can see okay and what else we have the drawer content component within that we have header and footer in the header we have the title and the description and if you open it this is the title and this is the uh, description and after that uh, we have the footer and so footer has the submit and cancel button so the cancel button should close the drawer so if you want to have such kind of button then you should wrap it within the drawer close button like this so whatever you wrap uh, with this would act as a close button for you okay now let's copy this piece of code and the name of this component is let's read it from here it is saying drawer demo so let's create a new file here drawer demo.tsx and paste this code that we just copied and go back to the page.tsx and i'm going to delete everything and i would add drawer demo component in this way save it and reload it all right we got open drawer button if you click on that uh, it should open something like that and it is looking amazing so you can see it has some uh, a chart a counter with buttons and it has a submit and cancel button if you click on plus button it would increase the number it would also decrease the number so it is very simple uh, example that you can see how they made it for example this is the data that they used to generate this bar graph and also they have created a react state with the default value 350 and when you click on these buttons it would uh, i guess call this function as you can see if you search for the on click function it is being called uh, on both of these buttons so if you are clicking on the minus button then uh, it would uh, pass the minus 10 from on click and if you click on this it would pass the positive 10 and that would then add or subtract from your existing state so this is uh, here it is getting the existing state and making its changes and after that it is same thing just the extended version they just added some extra code but it is the same uh, expansion of the basic example that we tested already and here they have the header in the header they have the title and description like we did earlier and then we have a div with a button to change the counter value and then we have the text and the state value printed here after that we have second button then we have the uh, responsive container that is coming from the recharts okay so the benefit of, of this container is that for example this is how it is looking but if you reduce the size uh, i hope that it should shrink it Currently, it is already at its uh, minimum width, so uh, we cannot see the difference. But I think that when your screen size is less than uh, its width, then it should shrink it down. So anyway, after that, they have used the bar chart that is also coming from the recharts. And uh, after that, in the rechart, they have added the bar and to the bar, they have passed some styles to, m to make it what it is right now. Uh, you are feel free to make any change here and also they have passed the array data to bar chart that would automatically draw it okay and this bar component uh, is the component that you can use to display its visual representation you can change its color or things like that for example here if you add orange i guess then it should work maybe yes it is working so in this way you can feel free to make any extra style or css and it would be working after that they have wrapped the button cancel in the drawer close and it would close it anyways now let's quickly test this second example go to the code and in the drawer demo i will replace it with the new code and i got this error use media query it is missing so let's see what we can do with that so react didn't uh, they did not provide the media query hook so either we should find it somewhere or we should create it by ourselves let me search in their documentation to see if they have pro provided it somewhere uh, let's search on internet shared cn ui 
and here it is uh, so let's just copy paste this piece of code and i would just define it here instead of defining it in this path you can go ahead and you add it in the hooks folder but it's fine to add it here i will remove the export because we are going to use it locally so remove it okay now uh, in the page we have a different name of this component this time it is drawer dialog demo so copy the name and use it here in this way all right now i got another error that it mistakenly imported this component twice that's why it was complaining about that now if you click on that it is showing the dialog if you reduce the screen width it would immediately convert it into the drawer so let's see how they made it possible so let's open the drawer dialog demo drawer dialog demo and here we have the use media query so this is just simple hook with value and set value we have the use effect function here and we have the on change and we are setting the value and we have added the event listener change on match media so if there is a change in match media then it would call the on change function and that would update our state and then we are uh, removing the event listener uh, when this component is unmounted and uh, we are calling this logic every time when query is uh, updated from the prop or from the parameter okay so now we have the draw dialog component we have the open state default value is false and here we are defining our condition that this if minimum width is 768 pixel then we will consider it it is desktop and also when you resize the window it would again call these functions and it would update the state and uh, is desktop would become false if you are in the mobile view if you are on the desktop version then it would return this uh, piece of code if you are in the mobile then it would return this piece of code and now in the uh, desktop version we have the dialog trigger added profile and uh, we have the dialog content that has the dialog header and the description and the profile form profile form is being used in both uh, cases in the mobile version uh, in the drawer and also in the dialog so instead of rewriting it they have uh, created a reusable component here that has the form and everything in it so this is how it works so if you want to go into further depth uh, you can definitely go to their documentation website here and read through it and understand how they did this and implemented things but you, most of the time you don't need to read that documentation because this is all that you need to know I hope that this video provided you some value and if this is the 14th part of Shad CN UI if you want to see uh, other parts then this is the playlist that I have prepared you can uh, go to this playlist I will also leave the link of this playlist in the description below you are free to watch all of these videos and in the part one we have covered uh, several components and uh, we have also covered how to set it up and install from the beginning so i recommend you to watch all of these videos one by one so that you could have understanding of all of the components and my aim is to cover each and every component of shared scene ui and we will ex be exploring each and every possibility that we could achieve with the help of shared scene ui and also uh, at the end i would record several videos to build several interesting real world applications or uis with the help of the shared cn ui like i would be implementing dashboards admin panels cms blog or anything that is useful i would be developing with the help of shared cn ui to demonstrate the powers of this library and if you have any suggestions you can also leave them in the comments section below or if you have any questions then please leave them in the comments section below also please subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos and like and share this video thanks for watching see you in the next one goodbye